Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting video from the KGP Talkie. So in this MCP tutorial series, I'm going to show you how you can access SQLite database using AI here. So I have prepared here SQLite MCP server. I connected it with the cloud desktop and thereafter I accessed it through the AI. So these are the questions which I asked here, like the show me tables using the SQLit MCP tools. So it has shown me all the tables and thereafter it has it has given the summary of all these tables. Thereafter I asked here a question like the show me top 10 highest paid employees. It has written a query here if you notice there. So query it combined from the employees, salaries, tables together and then finally it has given me the result. The similarly I can ask here show me the lowest paid salary department all right so it is going to now combine the salary employee and the department tables together and then it will finally give us the result here now you can see the department is getting combined here thereafter the employees and the salaries all these things are getting combined together and thereafter finally it will get the result and then it will show us the result here so these are the lowest paid department the human resources gets here the minimum and the maximum this is the average salary and then quality management oh my goodness seems like the hr gets very less salary as per this data set the sales marketing the finance guys are getting a lot of money here the research production development here but these the quality customer services and the hr people are not getting much of the salary all right so this is what we are going to build in this lesson i hope you are going to enjoy all right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started with setting up our SQLite server. Hey everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can use SQLite MCP server to browse your SQLite database. We have seen previously how you can use MCP server to create report in the Excel sheet, how to report, how to create a report in the PDF, how to make the PowerPoint presentation. All these things we have made previously and these videos are available at my channel KGP Talkie. You can download this repository MCP Server SQLite from the GitHub Lakshmi Merit MCP Server SQLite. You need to clone this repository so you need to come here and thereafter you need to clone otherwise you can download it from here. I already have this repository locally in my computer so this is where I have here I'll be working here. Apart from this, you also need their SQLite database. So currently I have also included a sample database that is the employee database. This is very small database, but if you but if you want large database, then you can just search employee SQLite DB. You can get here from the GitHub and then you can download it. So this is quite large database. Currently, I also have that particular database here. I have stored that here. So this is like a 300 MB large database. All right. So you can use any SQLite database to work with the MCP server SQLite. Let's go ahead and see how you need to do this setup. The first thing first, you have to install UV and also make sure you have Anaconda installed. So once your Anaconda is installed, you install UV there. Thereafter, you need to come here at MCP server SQLite, scroll it down there you will see all the tool which is available with it we you, you have here read query write query create table list table describe table append inside and so on and this is the command which you need to add in your cloud desktop config file apart from that if you are a technical person you can go inside this there you will see just two files here you have init.py and the server.py then this is the way how you create the mcp server it has here very large prompt which describes how it need to how it need to query this SQLite server. It has all these instructions, a very detailed instructions. Thereafter, it has here SQLite database class, and thereafter, it has all these methods inside this SQLite class. Then it has here read resources. So basically, these are the part of the MCP protocols: get resource, list tools, and inside this list tool, it gives all these type of the tools. Like it has here read query it has here the right query create table list table all these kind of the tools are available there once tools are called then this is how the tool calls are handled all right if you are a technical person i'm sure you might understand that otherwise you don't worry about this it is perfectly fine if you do not understand this 
All right, let's come back to our code here. So this is something which we are going to add to our Cloud AI here. So at the Cloud AI, you need to open the settings here with the control and the comma. Thereafter, you need to come here at the developer. And now you see there, we already have here a few MCP servers running, which we have seen previously. You need to click on the edit config and then the Cloud Desktop config file. In this Cloud Desktop config file, now we are going to add our add our SQLite server. So you come here again and then you need to go in the root directory and scroll it down. As you scroll it down, this is something which we have to copy from here. Let's go ahead and copy this whole thing from here. And then you need to come here at the Cloud Desktop, uh, not on the Cloud Desktop. In fact, you need to go inside this Cloud Desktop config file, which we had opened previously. Then this is the name of your SQLite server. All right, that is the MCP server basically. And then this is the command UV. So UV is like the Python command. So this will be used here. And this is going to find out your uh, server.py file basically. So what we will do here, this is something uh, which we have to get from here. So this is our MCP SQLite server, uh, you know, uh, this is the path basically. So we just copy this whole thing from there. And then we come here and then finally we copy and paste it here. All right, you have here backslash. The somehow Windows had made this single backslash and that has been creating a lot of problem. Thereafter, you have MCP server SQLit and then the DB path, the DB path which we are going to use for the testing. So currently, currently we have our DB which is actually not this one. Let me just open, yeah, let me close this one so that I can quickly open. So we have this employee DB here, all right? So we are just going to copy this name from here and then we are going to give here in the test DB. So this says that this is the current directory. In this current directory, it has the employee.db here. And this one is going to be, uh, you know, the executed. As you come here and you see there, you do not see there anything like the MCP server SQLite. But as you go here inside this one, you will find out the MCP server SQLite. So this is what it is going to execute here. All right. I hope that this is pretty much clear to you now. Now I just, you know, save this. Thereafter, we have to quit our cloud desktop. So right click on and thereafter you need to, uh, I'm sorry, you need to get it from the tray and then you need to quit it here. So once it is quit, uh, once you quit it, thereafter you need to open it here. Once you open it, then you can come here. Thereafter, you can see if this is listed, that means it is running. It doesn't seem like your uh, tool is listed here. That's mean it is not running, but seems like it has started here. And my Norton has captured this and it is trying to figure out if this is correct or not. So let's wait for some time, let it finish and then we can continue. So the Norton has cleared that this particular exe file is perfectly fine. So I'm just going to close this. Thereafter, we should be able to see our SQL tools are listed here. Now I can see all the tool which we had seen on the GitHub, like the read query, write query, create table, list table, describe table, append inside. All these things are available here. All right. Once you have all these, now we know that this is our DB path, which we are going to utilize. So what we do here, we come and ask here that how many SQLite, let's say SQLite, uh, SQLite uh, tools you have, I guess I'll ask here. It should say us that it has total six tools probably. Let's go ahead and it is trying to find out. Yes, it has six tools. Perfect. Okay. So me sample data. You see how beautiful this AI. Now we are using this cloud desktop to to, to you know uh, get the data from our SQLite. So similarly you can use SQL uh, similarly you can use their SQL server to get the data from the MySQL database as well or any kind of the database basically. So it says that look like SQLite database is currently empty there is no table created it okay describe the table all right so it is going to describe all the tables or maybe i asked here a wrong question probably okay so me all tables there after get the data 
from all tables let's say get the five rows from all table so seems like this is empty it seems like but anyway it is saying that how many tables are there always allow hmm create table so it seems like there is no table in that particular data now, now it is trying to create the table which shouldn't have happened actually so what we'll do here so this employee.db doesn't have any table so what i'll do i'll i'll just update with the latest i mean with the larger larger db so as i told you that here in the download i have here a larger employee db which is 300 mb right click copy the path thereafter i come here and then i update this particular path here i have to make sure that i have here backward slash for everything all right for this one and thereafter for this one and this is the additional i save it thereafter what i do i have to quit my cloud ai app again once i quit it i have to start so that this new path can be loaded here all right so the new path is loaded here i can see my sqlite is running here and now i'm going to ask here the same question again here okay so me tables using oops sqlite mcp tools so the first time you need to mention here that which tool it need to use otherwise what happens if you have so many tools in your cloud desktop then it might get confused it might call other tool or it might not call tools at all so here it has uh, listed the table now it can see all these tables there it has department dept employee dept manager employee salary and thereafter it is describing all the tables so these are the fields here in individual tables all right so it has described all the table now it is getting here additional information all right so you have here the table title and then it is showing here the table overview etc now you see how good your ai is here now i can ask that here so me top 10 highest paying employees let's say i'm going i highest paid employees actually this should be okay so now it is going to create a query it is going to combine the department salary and the employee all these tables it is going to combine together now you can see the employee salary and then the department all these are getting combined together and then finally it has found out that these are the employees the highest paid employee you can see here that how good this model is actually all right so this is how you can use this sqlit mcp server to browse with your sqlit database now it is not just limited to the sqlit database but in fact it you can expand this to any kind of the database all right so you just need to write the code which i had shown you previously but do not worry about that later on in some video i'll be uh, showing you how you can also access the my sql database as well overall i wanted to show you how powerful ai and the mcp tool is i hope that uh, it 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 made you aware that how powerful it is all right so this is all about in this lesson if you have liked this video please subscribe this channel and also share this with your friends and the social media bye bye take care